After the pink sauce lady tried to fool everyone by selling food coloring, she's still trying to cause drama with her old pink sauce. And if you ask me, ladies and gentlemen, I think she's getting desperate. All right, welcome back, everybody. It's a new day on the Curtis Price channel and a new day for you to slay it. In the last pink sauce video we posted, we spoke about her new line of flavorings. And let me just tell you this, it's a scam. But she has indeed jumped back on TikTok once again and started slating Dave's gourmet once again. I wish I was lying, but Jerry will tell you. Sorry guys, he's giving me the silent treatment. We had a bit of an argument earlier. Now we are gonna take a look at that shortly, but first guys, if there's any newcomers, I wanna update them on the situation of what I think is going on. So on Chef P's website, she's brought out a new line of flavors, the blue sauce seasoning and the pink sauce seasoning. And you're apparently, you got pink pasta, pink buns, why would I want to make things pink? I don't eat food for the colour, I eat food for the taste. Otherwise, you'd catch me in the kitchen eating Tide Pods. <laughs> but one thing that's not on her website is all the other flavours she's released. So on TikTok, she showcased a couple of other flavours. Here you can see Not Mustard in a yellow packet. Well, what is it then? Maybe I'll order some of this when it's released, but I'll wear a hazmat suit when I'm doing it. You got a ranch sauce, which I'm guessing is like a raunchy kind of sexy flavor. Why are we sexualizing seasoning? And then we got a green sauce, like I said in the last video, straight out of Shrek's nutsack. Now, I think I forgot to mention, but these aren't actually sauces. They're just seasoning. They're just powder. So you're telling me I got to pay $20 for a bag of seasoning, go to the store, spend more money buying more ingredients just to change the color of my food. No, thank you. I ain't spending 30, 40 dollars on all this ingredients. I can't even afford a haircut. <laughs> but what's interesting, ladies and gentlemen, is when you make the sauce, it's usually quite unique. Like when mayonnaise makes mayonnaise, what do they do? They put all kinds of different ingredients in, egg and shit like that, whatever's in there, and makes mayonnaise. This pink sauce lady, basically, ready for it? Mixes other sauces together to create her sauce. So it's not really original then, is it? <laughs> you can see her making the blue sauce here. This is how she makes it. Okay, activator. There's the blue seasoning. Activate, activate, activate. She's so proud of it, isn't she? Activate. Okay, so now we're going to add in some sour cream. Oh, some sour I'm cream. Okay, lovely. show y'all. I added in the sour cream. And it was so hard to get this sweet chili sauce sweet out chili of the sauce? container. But yeah, it came out anyways. So, boom. There you go. Then we're going to add in some vegan mayo. And I know that's Mayonnaise? contradiction because, uh, yeah. yeah, vegan mayo. So you're telling me to make the blue sauce, I have to go out to the store, buy sour cream, mayonnaise, and sweet chili and mix all these other original sauces together to make your sauce. Sounds like a fucking wild science experiment gone wrong. But obviously, ladies and gentlemen, I have to mention this. It's not confirmed that, you know, the seasoning is just food coloring. It, it, it's just what I think it is, because clearly, when you're making a sauce, you never have to mix other sauces in with it to make your own sauce. So that's just a quick little recap for you guys who haven't watched the last video. Now, she has actually, like I mentioned, posted a TikTok talking about Dave's Gourmet and her old pink sauce once again. Which, to be honest, I only think she's doing so she can get some attention around her, get some controversy going so it can help her sell her new blue coloring. I mean, look at all the news articles that was released from the last controversy. I guess she's probably trying to replicate that. But if any of you are new, subscribe to the channel, guys, okay? I'm uploading daily. I'm on my grind, baby. And I honestly, guys, I really want to get to 200k by the end of this year. Can you imagine 200,000 subscribers on the Curtis Price channel? We've been stuck on 70k for three or four years now. It's my fault I haven't been uploading. But we're back, baby, all right? And as you can tell, I'm in the greatest mood being back, all right? We're posting daily, okay? You guys better be smashing as well, you know? Don't let me catch you lacking. All right, with that said, let's check out this TikTok. Okay, y'all, it's time for me to explain what's going on and also how you're not supporting me by purchasing this, right? Okay, so to start the story off, me and Dave's Gourmet has been in disagreement about this since January of 2023. Yeah, we know. We were there for it. Also, that stuff does look like pure shit, honestly. She claims the reason the sauce wasn't pink the first time around is because Dave's Gourmet actually removed some ingredients from it, which would make the colour. And I just need to ask this question real quick. Perhaps Dave Gourmet removed the ingredients because it wasn't safe for humans to consume. And honestly, I'd rather consume Dave's Gourmet sauce than the one you were shipping out to people. I mean, look at the state on that. That is growing some fungi on a new level. Anyway, sorry guys, sorry. I'm blabbering. Let's go. When the pink sauce first went into stores... Dave's Gourmet wasn't sharing information with me, simple information, like as far as how many bottles were in the first purchase order. Um, and that's when I knew something wasn't right. Claims she doesn't know how many bottles are being purchased, but yet jumps on TikTok and brags about selling 200,000 bottles with Dave Gourmet. Whoa, now what's going on? This is 
just confused, you know? Just confused, baby, you know? Confusion. Perhaps maybe when they sold 200,000 balls, it wasn't the first purchase order. Maybe Dave's Gourmet really didn't disclose to her how many were sold. But there's no evidence, Fred. You didn't show anything to back up the point. So therefore, I can't. You know, I can't say anything. Dave's Gourmet brought the receipts. You said you weren't being paid, but yet they give you nearly 200 grand. Everyone was complaining because the sauce was like orange. Dave's Gourmet told me, rest assured, we're going to be able to fix the color issue, and the color issue was never fixed. Now, in the creation of the pink sauce, y'all know, I compared the pink sauce as a Beyonce sauce. Like, this is the Beyonce of the sauces. When I created the pink sauce, it was about marketing. It was about this being something new, something the world has never seen. And that means if it's an innovative brand, then you have to have the proper marketing strategies in place. And you also have to be able to tell a story to your audience where they can understand. Correct, you are right, and that is very, very true. Pink sauce we've never seen before, it's a very new thing. Had a lot of hype around it, but meanwhile you were prioritizing fucking marketing and telling the story. You weren't prioritizing the product itself. <laughs> I mean, you were shipping it out to people across the country with milk and eggs in it in like 200 degrees Fahrenheit. What were you expecting? I <laughs> so you can see, ladies and gentlemen, now she's confirming to us the reason why the sauce was such a failure. Because she focused way too much on the marketing than the actual product itself. She didn't prepare the product enough. She didn't prepare it ready to be sold out into the world. This could have been huge. It could have been Massive, but you just jumped the gun a little bit. You just focus way too much on the story being told on the actual product itself I mean just look what was going into this pink sauce you have to be winding me up with all that oil, right? That is a joke, isn't it? And I remember ladies and gentlemen, she said something about quality ingredients being sunflower seed oil Can I just say a second that that sunflower oil causes fucking cancer? Unfortunately, it's high in inflammatory omega-6 fats and unstable when heated. Consuming sunflower oil and other seed oils is linked with a higher rates of obesity, heart disease, some types of cancers, dementia, and chronic pain. Oh my god. It's a good call on the quality ingredients there. I'm pretty sure if you spent less money on the marketing, you probably could have invested more time into finding more healthier options to make this sauce. Yeah, I know you guys don't know me from my entrepreneurial um beginnings and like where i began as chef p but one thing for certain two things for sure if you know me you know that i have perseverance and if i believe in something i'm gonna press forward to it especially if it has to do with my legacy and what i created and my product that i love and people love so right now, I'm beginning my business over completely as a small business with the pink seasoning. With the pink seasoning, I can guarantee quality by you being able to mix the dry mix to whatever color you like. And you also can mix the sauces and create whatever color that you can make between blue and pink at the moment. Like as you guys seen, I created lavender sauce with blue and pink. You can create different color intensities as well with the pink seasoning. It just sounds like a fucking wild science experiment. I mean, this is like, I mean, combining colors as well to make purple food. Did you make a Frankenstein's monster over here? So you worked so hard the first time round to market it and to, you know, create a story for it. The second time round now, your story is, is that you can change the color of foods. I mean, that's not good enough, is it? Yes, people wanted pink sauce because the vibrant color of it. Yes, they wanted it because they wanted to try and taste it. But this time round, you're just mixing a bunch of other sauces together with a bit of other ingredients and then changing the color of it with some food coloring. That's what you, you haven't explained what the seasoning is. And that's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, she hasn't mentioned the taste of it. For right now, at this point, it seems like her selling point is that you can change the color of things with this seasoning. And you know who's going to buy this seasoning, right? That season is $20. You know who's going to buy this, right? Stupid people, because they love the colors of stuff. I mean, <laughs> that's how low IQ people have. It's like when you walk into a store as a child and you see all the toys everywhere. You want to pick out the brightest, most colorful toy in the world. It's, it's exactly like that. All of 2023 and at the end of 2020, 22, I was in a complete 
defense mode and I refuse to be that way especially for something that I didn't do however I will be giving entrepreneurial tips for y'all to learn from my mistakes and learn about selecting a partner and getting into contracts and you know what to look out for when you're signing a contract because the piece of paper that I have is not even a contract. Guys, honestly, I do respect the fact that she's still persevering. You can't, you know, not respect it. Fair enough. You know, good luck to her. And I do respect that she's trying to give advice to people, but you can't really give business advice when you royally fucked up the first time. Once again, shipping a product across the country with milk and eggs in it, not considering the fact that the product might go bad. Second of all, in 2023, you said you were on the defense. I highly disagree with that. You were on the offense. You were literally slandering Dave's Gourmet. <laughs> you claimed that you were never being paid, and then Dave's Gourmet came out with receipts, even after you slandered them, to prove that they were sending you money so you could afford your rent that month so you wouldn't be evicted. Oh, nice son, by the way, giving us advice on how to read a contract. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Thank you, I appreciate it. But if I ever have any problems with a contract, I think I'll see a professional. But with that being said, also, the blue seasoning is sold out right now. Um, we're getting ready to fulfill those orders. We will be fulfilling our orders on live. So you guys can see the process and see the product and see what people will be getting. And right now, I'm just focused on moving in a positive direction. However, um, like I told y'all on my live, I have a recording of the entire conversation. It's about an hour and 30 minutes long. But I have to keep that for myself for legal purposes because something has to be done about this. I know people have asked me, will I be packing a formulated sauce? Yes, I will be um, packing a formulated sauce once I get the funds to be able to do so. Okay, well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I look forward to seeing the new formulated sauce. Now, she also claims that she has like an hour-long conversation, but she can't release for legal purposes. Well, I'll tell you what, I've actually got like a million dollars just, just behind me, but you can't see it. But I can't show you it, but it's there. Trust me. And she claimed that she sold out of the blue seasoning also, but how true is that? We don't know. I mean, she could have just sold one. And that could have been her buying that. When you see a product is sold out, clearly some alarm bells go off in your head that that product is in demand. So it makes people want to buy it more. But who knows? Maybe the seasoning wasn't even, even in stock in the first place. <laughs> Maybe she just uploaded it to her website and just put, yeah, sold out. Yeah. Sorted. That's the marketing done for the day. But I really think that next time now, when you come back, you need to bring back a solid sauce, right? A pink, vibrant sauce that isn't combined with other sauces, such as sweet chili. But even then, she's got a problem because people don't trust her because of the last time she was selling pink sauce. So it's definitely not going to be as much hype as the first time round, obviously. And as you guys know, at the end of every video, I've been giving some advice, you know, trying to uplift your guys' day. So today's topic of conversation will be about anxiety. Whether you have anxiety about the future or the past, okay, the point is, is to try and live in the moment. You have to understand that sometimes your thoughts aren't actually you. And understand that your thoughts don't have emotion. What happens is, is a thought comes into your mind whether you're worried about something. Worry is a feeling. It's your body reacting to your thoughts. So remember, take good care of yourself up here. Think positive thoughts. Because if you start thinking bad thoughts, your body will react in a negative way. It's pretty common sense. It really does go by that quote. A person who thinks all the time has nothing to think about except thoughts. Truly, honestly, if you're having anxiety, chances are you're not doing enough throughout the day. If you are always active and constantly being productive, you won't be thinking as much. So keep being productive, guys. Get on your grind. It's 2024, baby. All right? Well, that's it. Love you all to bits. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you all in the next one. Boo! You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.